Yeah. Uh, between February 24th and uh, 17th November has imported more fossil fuel from Russia than the next 10 countries combined. Uh, just as I were to give you an India comparison, uh, the oil import in European Union is like six times what India has imported. Gas is infinity times because we don't import, uh, whereas European Union has imported 50 billion do dollars worth, uh, 50 billion euros worth. Even coal imports from Russia by European Union, I'm not singling any particular country, uh, is 50% uh, more than India has imported. So the, the remark that you made that, you know, this is the way the European Union is going and uh, this is the way India is going, I would very respectfully suggest maybe European Union is actually doing something very much more than India is doing at this point of time. Having said that, look, I, I think we need to have an understanding among governments and frankly even within the media. Uh, there is a finite amount of energy resources available in the world. I understand there is a conflict situation. I also understand Europe has a point of view. And Europe will make the choices it will make. That is Europe's right. But for Europe to make choices which prioritizes its energy needs and then ask India to do something else. And bear in mind, today Europe is buying a lot from the Middle East. Now, Middle East was traditionally a supplier for an economy like India. So it puts pressure on prices in the Middle East as well. So we have been very, very understanding of European choices and European policies. I think my own sense is most governments in the world, Europe, go, European governments get it. Uh, I wish European media also got it. It would be very helpful. I would urge you to look at these figures. There's actually a website called Russia Fossil Fuel Tracker. It would give you you know, country by country who's really importing what, and I suspect that might be very, very helpful.